Virginia's outgoing governor may be considering a run against President Trump in 2020. Democrat Terry McAuliffe did not deny a possible presidential bid when pressed on that topic today by our Peggy Fox in Richmond. So will he or won't he run for president? Governor McAuliffe says he won't say until he wraps up his current job here in Richmond. So Donald Trump never held any office. He's president. Why can't Terry McAuliffe be president? I mean, you have four years of governing Virginia. You yeah. describe all the successes here. Do you ever think of it in those terms? Well, listen, I think you know me pretty well, uh, Peggy. I've never taken anything off the table. Uh, I want to go where I can help people and do things. I just haven't made any decisions today. How would you be different than President Trump? Well, a lot of things. My value system, I don't think he has a moral core. I don't think he cares about these issues that matter on health care. You wouldn't act, Peggy, the way he does on health care for literally millions of people to lose their health coverage. I don't think he has a moral core. After the Charlottesville violence, the president was criticized for casting blame on both sides. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. But stop the hate speech, stop the rhetoric in this country. We have got to bring people together. Did things change at all for you after that? I mean, did people start looking at you differently? And I know people have come to you asking you to run for president. Yeah, I think Charlottesville clearly uh, from the letters, the calls, and that it was a clear contrast to President Trump. And I did what I think most people would have done. You condemned bigotry and hatred. And I do think it put me on a national and international stage. And I'd never be in Congress. That's just not who I am, to be very frank. I'd never be in the House or the Senate. Never I, run for either, any position. Never, no. I'm, I'm a real executive type. And all due respect for the people mm. who can do it. But to sit around with, you know, 435 or... Drive you, know, you crazy, huh? I just couldn't. It's not, the, it's not my action. And I don't do what I don't think I would be good at. But to sit around and listen to 99 people talk, what's the result of right. it? And I'm a very harsh critic on Congress. Maybe that's the only thing you and President Trump have in common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. With the Democrats' huge win in the last election and more seats in the General Assembly, McAuliffe says the first thing lawmakers need to do is pass Medicaid expansion. That was a major goal that he was unable to get done. In Richmond, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. Critics of McAuliffe say his close ties to the Clintons are a liability that would keep him from a successful White House bid. McAuliffe says people know he's an independent thinker and he does not walk away from his friends.